Hey, how's it going? How is everybody doing? Today is December 30th. I don't know why I had to look. I just got done paying my gas bill. It was due today. So I should have known that. But December 30th, 2022. We were just two days away from the new year. Um, that don't do one, one day away. You can kind of look at it because we, we, we got tomorrow. And then we'll be into 2023. Yay. I have to work on Sunday, so I'm not, eh. I'm not real enthused about the new year. Um, not because I'm not looking forward to the new year, but just because I have to work on uh, Sunday. And, and wouldn't you know, like how often, because I'm, I'm actually asking, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't have the math in my head to do this, but how many years go by before we get a New Year's Eve on a Saturday and New Year's Day on a Sunday? Like, how many, like, that's how it is this year, but now how many more years is it going to be before that happens again? Uh, it doesn't happen very often, I don't think. I'm sure there's, like, a, a, a way you can figure out, like, it's every so many years it, it falls that way. But, uh, yeah, once you know, like, most of the time... You know, one or two of those days is during the week um, to where I'm automatically working anyhow. So here it is, a year where actually New Year's Eve and New Year's Day are both on the weekend, my two normal days off, and guess what? I have to go to work. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. I don't. I don't really do much on New Year's Eve anyhow. Um, you know, I used to. I used to go out and, and live it up, party it up, however you want to put it. Have a few too many drinks. Uh, I just, you know, I don't do it anymore. Um, and I'm guess I'm, I'm guessing that you know, for some people, there's you know, there's a big reason to ring in the new year. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't. As I've gotten older, I've just kind of, kind of questioned. It. I was like, why exactly do we do that? You know, other holidays I can understand because if it wasn't for us celebrating those holidays, it, it wouldn't be really recognized, right? Like Christmas. If we all didn't celebrate Christmas, if one year everybody just said, we're not celebrating Christmas, you're not going to hear anything about it, well, you know what? December 25th would come and go and it would just be another day, like any other day. And that's the point of making The new year whether we celebrate it or not, it still happens. You know, after December 31st, you get January 1st, the new year. Whether we celebrate it or not, it's going to be a new year. Um, all right, just, see, my mind, that's how my mind works sometimes. I just, I think about things like this, and I'm like, why? Um, you know, now, back when I used to really celebrate it, I didn't care why. It was an excuse to go out and have a few drinks and, and cut loose and have fun. Um, not necessarily you have to have an excuse to do that. I mean, go out and live life, enjoy it, but but do it safely, okay? Um, but yeah, I just you know, not knocking on anybody's parade. You know, I I encourage people to go out again safely, but go out and yeah, ring in the new year, have fun, um, make your resolutions and stick to them. But yeah, I just, I myself, you know, I'm at the point now where I don't, no, obviously it might be different if, say, like, some of my family or my daughter or something, they were doing something and they invited me to, to go. Of course, I wouldn't this year because I have to work in the morning. But, you know, one of these years when I don't have to work on New Year's Day and I can actually go out and do something New Year's Eve, you know, if somebody was to ask me, yeah, sure, I'd probably go out. But especially with having to work the next day. Eh, I'll just stay home. You know, I might have, maybe I'll have a margarita or something, just one. I have, I'll have i pick some good food. I'll stay up till basically midnight, just like I say, okay, here's a new year, yay, okay. And then I'll go to bed so I can get up and go into work at 8 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, enough about that, right? That's what I'm thinking. What I'm here to do is not really a mystery box. I mean, I know, I know where it's from and I know what it is. 
and I know for sure what one of them are because I ordered two of them. But the other ones I don't remember exactly what I ordered. So, I know, confusing, right? <laughs> Me too. It's from the Funko Shop. I ordered some Funko Pops, obviously. There should be two of the Hercules, not like Hercules, like Disney Hercules, but the new Hercules that we got in the the after credit or the mid credit scene on in Thor: Love and Thunder, you know where they're bringing Hercules into the MCU. I ordered two of those pops because I was watching. I forget the name of the channel. If I can find it, it'll be down in the description below. I'll, I'll mention them. But there's a guy that does. He does like speculation videos, and from what I understand, from comments I've seen, this guy. I mean, he does pretty good about speculating what pops might go up in value, might eventually become grails, and, you know, kind of why that'll happen. He's not 100%, but he does a pretty good job of of uh, looking into it and, and being, you know, right about a lot of things. And this was one that he mentioned. He mentioned that Hercules because this was that was the first time we've seen Hercules in the MCU. This is going to be the very first pop of that character from the MCU. And especially then if they go on and bring that character in and do something, maybe, hell, even have, you know, its own movie at one time, possibly. Um, but yeah, so like the first introduction of a character is probably a good pop to have. And I think there was two other pops I ordered, but I don't remember what they are. I know we're all shocked that Schmo does not remember what he ordered. I don't know. I mean, it must be an off day or something, right? No, an off day would be if I actually remembered. Then we, we should all be worried. But yeah, so this is kind of a mystery box, but not really. I mean, it's stuff that I ordered. I knew what I was ordering when I ordered it. I knew what was going to be coming when I ordered it. But, yeah. All right, so let's see here. So this, that's just packing material. So let's pull out the, they got one in the little single sorter thingy here. So let's open this. I'm not going to do like the whole, well, I can't see it because. All right, this is one of the Hercules. And I bought two of them because one, this way I get, get one right from the get-go. Um, and it is in pristine condition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna immediately put this into a protector. Uh, but it's for my own collection because I wanted one for my own collection. And this is gonna looks like it's gonna be a Walgreens exclusive. And this literally, I mean, just came out. I think. The dog is going nuts down there. This came out. All right, well, it came out this year. It came out in February of, of 2022, so. You know, it might have been at Walgreens already. I just, I don't go into Walgreens very often. If at all. Maybe I should go into Walgreens once in a while and see what pops they have. So, there's that. So, I should have another one like that. And then, we've got this other... Maybe we got a little coupon to enjoy 15% off from Loungefly. Or 15% off Funko. But it probably expires. Well, it looks like it's good through January of 23. So I might hold on to that. I might make another purchase before them. Alright, so this next one is going to be kind of a surprise. One of these three should be another Hercules, but then the other two, I don't remember whether they were ones that I bought just for my own collection or ones that I bought to hold on to because down the line they might go up in value. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, so I'm guessing they were probably for my own collection. 
This one I have actually kind of set. I mean, he's actually in his thing, but he's set in there kind of catacorn. That's how they made it. I'm guessing it's because he's got that big ring that goes around him. But this is a Wong from She-Hulk. With his, uh, oh, I don't know what, like portal ring around him. But that one was pretty cool. Who doesn't like Wong? He's like one of the, uh, like the mainstays of the MCU. He's been in so many different things now. And it's funny that the actual the actor's name is Wong, and they just kept it Wong. That's the character. Yeah, both of these were bought for my own, my own collection. And then I got the Dead Strange from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I absolutely love that one. I'm a big zombie fan. That's my favorite. When it comes to horror movies, my favorite horror movies are zombie movies. Whether they're low-budget cheesy ones or whether they're, you know, state-of-the-art special effects and gore. I love zombie movies. So I really like that character of the, the Dead Strange. Yeah, you're all wore out now. I see him running around like a crazy person down there. So there we go. Those, those, and then of course we got the other Hercules. I'll put that one in a protector too, and then I'll set it off to. Uh, well, I might set it over. I, I might actually put it over with my inventory, but I'm not going to list it. I'll just put it over there so it's out of the way. And then I'll know where it's at. Yeah, I don't think I'll keep this this thing. I don't think I'll need to use that. So these boxes I'll just break down and get rid of. There we go. That's it. That's, that's the end of this video. I know. Quick, right? We're only 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope y'all didn't get something to eat and drink or make popcorn while you were going to watch this video because it's been kind of waste. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, like I said, the, the Hercules, it's a Walgreens exclusive, so it might be available at Walgreens right now. Um, if not, it's probably still available on the Funko shop. And, of course, these two, since they're not exclusives, I'm guessing they will be popping up at some retailers if they haven't already. I would imagine this Wong. Uh, looks like it maybe came out just like in September of this year. And or that that's the dead strange. I don't know why I said Wong. Wong's in his hat. Uh And this one, oh, this one looks like it came out. So the Wong looks like it actually came out maybe in January of 2022. But the Dead Strange looks like it's fairly recent. Looks like it just came out in September. But yeah, of course, I don't know where in the hell I'm going to put these. I got a little bit of room. I might have to move the. Um, I actually decided to pull out two of the Mortal Kombat ones I have, and I'm going to sell them. But I kept, I kept the Sub Zero, a Scorpion, and Raiden from. Uh, I think they were the ones for the movie. Um, from like 2000, I think they came out in like 2017. Keep those, but I might have to move them somewhere um, to make room for these three pops over there. But. There we go. That's it. That is the video. Those were my Funko Shop pickups. So, obviously, uh, check out the link below to the Funko Shop. It's basically it's very simple. Funko.com. Uh, if you want to get Funko Pops directly from the creator, if you will, the manufacturer, that's where you go to get them directly from Funko. Is Funko.com. Go in here, check out what they got. You'll also find links down below to all of my stuff. Uh, my my business page on Facebook. I do post on once in a while. Uh, it's basically just a marker so people can you know, 
know about my business. And I sell through Macari, Poshmark, and whatnot. So you'll find uh, my usernames and, and information and my, the direct link to my actual Macari store uh, all down below in the description box. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up or a little thumbs up, whatever. I guess they're all the same size, right? It'd be kind of cool if you could give it like a big thumbs up or a little thumbs up, though. Maybe they should do that. Um, obviously, if you didn't enjoy the video, I guess, I mean, I, I'm not wanting to go on. If I don't enjoy a video after I watch it, I just go into the next video. I don't, I don't really understand, uh, giving somebody a thumbs down. I just, I just don't have it in me. I, I don't do that. But if you're so inclined, okay. Um, but yeah, hey, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Don't obligate you. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. And you might find that at least once in a while in my videos, you might be mildly entertained. At least that's what I hope. Uh, Till the next time, which the next, the next video will be another one of the stuffed stocking mystery box from Mystery Grail. So, that'll be coming up next, so make sure you're subscribed so you know when that is posted. And hey, outside of that, everybody, um, this should be up by New Year's or at least on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year! And, uh, yeah, going into the New Year, so more important than ever, Look out for yourself and those around you so we all have a much better chance at staying safe and healthy. Till next time, see ya.